Hey, I'm Chelsea Amber and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, I'm a Christian recording artist and I post cover songs, original songs, and devotionals on my YouTube channel to send some encouragement your way. Now, a few days ago, I posted the song This Is Amazing Grace by Phil Wickham on my channel. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it up here. But one thing that I love about that song is that juxtaposition, how it talks about this holy creator of the universe who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder, but then also this intimate loving father who makes the orphan a son or daughter. And I want to know, what is your favorite line in that song? And if you need a reminder of what the lyrics are, I put them down in the video description so you can check that out. My favorite line is, who makes the orphan a son or daughter? And that's because I've been praying and asking God to help me understand more and more his father heart. So I started looking up some verses that I thought both touched on the holiness of God, but then also his father heart. Here they are. Psalm 68 verses 5 and 6. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. John 1 verses 12 to 13. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Romans 8 verses 14 to 17. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you received did not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by Him we cry, Abba, or Daddy, Father. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in His sufferings in order that we may also share in His glory. God's amazing grace through Jesus has welcomed us to be adopted into his family as a son or daughter of God. God is both the king and creator of the universe and a loving father who wants a relationship with you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this encouraging. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and you can hit the little bell notification so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.